I'm gonna be real here, I never bother to touch the YouTube playable section. Because it's all full of just mobile game bullshit. So, why not review one of these horrible fucking games in a video? Yeah, this ought to be good. Also, here's a Wordle clone. Today's Hurdle. Slime.io. The concept art here reminds me heavily of Slime Rancher. Expect the video on that eventually. Omnom Run, which is pretty much, as I suspect, a Subway Surfers clone with a cut the rope twist. All right. What the fuck? Okay, enough of this shit. Let's just play cut the rope. There's gonna be ads out there. Oh, boy. Level select. There it is. Okay. Dumbass. This is a mouse cursor, you moron. Don't let the candy leave the box.
Ah, we're advised to get every star, not just partially, like, bad piggies. Probably am retarded. Keeping track. Oh. We're on level 19. Yippee. Wow, this is practically a fucking auto level. Much an auto level. I don't know how the fuck I fucked it up. I mean, yeah, I already performed that. Because I knew how to do that. I've played that the rope several times in the past. Thank you. 
fuck you. Fuck, I fucked it up. Uh, 
ಮಾಡಿ probably why the game has a live system so you can't just constantly refresh levels over and over again until you inevitably complete it in one fucking sitting because you got to have that daily player revenue on that which is complete bullshit i tell you YouTube playables. I will say it's much better because there's no life system. Unless that's only in Cut the Rope 2 and I might be misremembering something, but I'm very certain there was a life system here in Cut the Rope 1. Which I really didn't like because that just made the game completely unfucking playable. Meaning you could only play for like five levels, which was not cool. And if you failed any of those levels within five tries, you'd constantly have to just wait the next day and the next day and the next day and shit like that to pretty much buff the game's 
daily player count, which is not cool. Overall, I will say this is a major improvement because there's no life system. Because I don't know why the fuck there's a life system in any fucking mobile game that relies on puzzles. So... Yeah. Well, regardless of all that, I love you all, and good night. By the way, this game, with the life system, it gets a whopping 2 out of 10, and without, it's much better, I'll say, at a whopping 6? I mean, it's significantly better, but not that much better. You know? Anyway. I love you all. Good night. For real this time.